Hello, astronaut class. It is Music Monday, so we're going to make some music together. First, we're going to use our hands as an instrument to sing Clap Your Hands. Ready? Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Good job. I've got another song about clapping. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Clap, clap, clap. Can you wiggle ten fingers, ten fingers, ten fingers? Can you wiggle ten fingers, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle? Can you sway from side to side, side to side, side to side? Can you sway from side to side, sway, sway, sway? Good job, you guys. Uh, another one that is a really, really, really old song that I've been singing forever is Alice the Camel. Now, Alice the Camel is not a regular old camel with just one hump or two humps. She's got five humps. And the more she goes, the less humps she gets. So we're going to start out with five. Alice the Camel has five humps. Alice the Camel has five humps. Alice the Camel has five humps. So go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. Alice the Camel has four humps. Alice the Camel has four humps. Alice the Camel has four humps, so go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. Alice the Camel has three humps. Alice the Camel has three humps. Alice the Camel has three humps, so go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. Alice the Camel has two humps. Alice the Camel has two humps. Alice the Camel has two humps, so go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. Alice the Camel has one hump. Alice the Camel has one hump. Alice the Camel has one hump, so go, Alice, go. Boom, boom, boom. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps. Alice the camel has no humps, so Alice is a horse. <laughs> oh. We are going to make some musical instruments of our very own right now. If you still have any of these laying around the house, I want you to pause the video go get one and put something small inside of it just so you can use it to be a shaker. Mine has a penny inside of it. So go ahead, stop the, stop the video now. Go look for an Easter egg and something to put inside of it. And if you don't have any Easter eggs at your house, you could find a bottle and put something small inside of it. This one actually just has the, uh, the plastic thing that goes around the top put into it. And so you can shake it like that. Um, if you have some other kind of a small box that you could just put something in and shake it, that'll work too. So I'll wait. Go ahead. All right. Our song is about egg shakers, but if your shaker is not an egg, that's okay. You can sing bottle shakers or box shakers or whatever you have. Okay. So here we go. Egg shakers up. Egg shakers down. Egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder, dance them on your head, dance them on your knee, then tuck them into bed. Since that was the first time we'd ever done that one and you just went to all that trouble to get your shaker, let's do it one more time, okay? Egg shakers up, egg shakers down. Egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder, dance them on your head. Dance them on your knee, then tuck them into bed. Goodbye, little shakers. So you can use that shaker to make your own music. You can make a shaker out of a bottle, and you can shake it, or you can tap it to make music too. Another really super fun way to make music is with either a shoebox or a Kleenex box. It just needs to be a box that has some open space at the top. And then wrap a couple of rubber bands across. And you can pluck the rubber bands to sound kind of like a guitar. Different sounds are made by different widths or thicknesses of rubber bands. You can play around with that. If you can find a container that has a lid on it, 
you can use it as a drum. Or you can even use a wooden spoon for a drumstick. If nothing else, good old pots and pans are fantastic for drumming a tune on. Sometimes it's really loud though, so this is a great thing to do outside or in a room not around other people, especially people who are trying to work. All right. So you know what? Having that pan here reminds me of a song that we really love to sing in our class, the Five Fat Sausages song. You know what happens when a sausage is done cooking? It splits open and it goes BAM! And that's how you know that it is done. So, get a pretend frying pan and set it down right in front of you. And set your five pretend sausages in the pan. One, two, three, four, five. Now, cook them up. Five fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 and one went BAM! Take that one out, set it on your plate. Now, how many sausages are in the pan? Four fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 and one went BAM! That one's done. Take it out, set it on your plate. Now there are three fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 and one went BAM! Take that one out, set it on your plate. It's done. Now there are two, two fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 and one went BAM! Take that one out, set it on your plate, it's done. Last one, one fat sausage frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 and one went bam. Take it out, set it on your plate, and eat them all up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. All those five sausages were delicious. Ah. <sighs> Before we go, I've been missing you guys. I'm going to have to sing one of our favorite songs that we usually sing with our name cards to say hello to everybody. And so as we sing this, I'm singing it just for you. So you got to put your name in this song, okay? Do you know this friend of mine? This friend of mine? This friend of mine? Do you know this friend of mine? Their name is... I miss you. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.